everybody, it's Jenny J1911, and I'm just doing a little reloading tonight. Took a night off from going to the range and reloading some nines uh, using my Dylan 550C, and I'm loading 3.6 grains of tight group under 124 grain berries round nose bullet, and I'm using Winchester primers. So. Um, I do like to, I do like to check every once in a while and make sure everything looks good. Our numbers are all good. And I like to make sure that goes in and out of the gauge very smoothly. Um, so another thing that's really cool that we got was we got this light and it's probably a little hard to see, but there's a hole in the center up here of the press and they we have we got this LED light that's made specifically for a press and it's really nice because it just fits right down in the center and you just clip it to the side of your press and it illuminates everything down here so as you're turning it's showing you I can see right now I can see down into the into the case I can see the uh, see the powder and just do a visual check. So I like to always do a visual check of everything and this makes it a lot easier to see that. So the company we got this from is called Inline Fabrication and it's called the Skylight and it's made specifically for the Dylan 550. So that's pretty cool. Um, but anyway, we're, we usually switch back and forth between loading 9s and 45s. Uh, right now, 45 brass is a little harder to come by. We do always try to pick up our own range brass, and every once in a while uh, when we go to the range, one of the nice people at the range will give us a bag of brass and let us bring it home and tumble it and spin it and load it. Um, but for some reason, the 45s just aren't as easy to come by right now. Same with primers, actually. Uh, we have a really nice little reloading shop here in town, and sometimes it's really hard to get the, the primers, um, especially the large primers. And it's interesting because when we get our 45 brass, we have to uh, check the primers because some of the 45 brass has small primers, some of the 45 brass has large primers. And the large primers are harder to find, so we always kind of hope for the small primer brass because we have more small primers anyway. Um, so anyway, it's really nice to reload our own ammo and know what we're taking onto the range with us. And it's also really cool because we can load light or you know we can adjust it to whatever we need and depending on what we're shooting what what pistol we're shooting what our goal is um actually really exciting in a couple of weeks we're going to be doing a steel target league which i've never done before so i can't wait to i can't wait to do that and you know i'll be able to hear the ping ping of the steel targets getting hit and know that it's my own ammo that I'm using that I've loaded. So anyway, I'm going to get back to it, but I just wanted to show you what I was up to tonight and um, hopefully I think we'll probably be back at the, at the range within the next day or two and you know what I'll be shooting. So anyway, thanks for stopping by.